Good day! Welcome to Teacher Ariel TV. Today, you are going to learn about subtracting 3 digit from 4 digit numbers with regrouping. Subtraction is the operation or process of finding the difference between two numbers or quantities. Find the difference. 3274 minus 528. Arrange the numbers in columns like this. Place the digit of the number in a column based on its place value. 3274 minus 528. 3274 has 3,000 2,000 7 tenths and 4 ones first we subtract the ones. 4 minus 8. We cannot subtract 8 from 4. So we need to regroup 1 10 into 10 ones. Now we have. 14 ones. We cross out the 4 and write 14 as new ones. Now we only have 6 tens. We cross out the 7 and write 6 at the top. Next, we subtract the ones. 14 minus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Equals 6. Then, we subtract the tens. 6 minus 2. Equals. 4 Now we subtract the hundreds 2 minus 5 We cannot subtract 5 from 2 so we need to regroup 1000 into 10 hundreds Now, we have 12 hundreds. We cross out the 2 and write 12 as new hundreds. Now, we only have 2 thousands. We cross out the 3 and write 2 at the top. Now, we subtract the hundreds. 12 minus 5. Equals 7. Now, we subtract the thousands. We have two thousands. But there is no number in the subtrahend in the thousands column. That means there is nothing to subtract. So we bring down the two thousands. Our final answer is... 2746 Another example find the difference 2653 minus 367 Arrange the numbers in columns like this Place the digit of the number in a column based on its place value 
2,653 minus 367 2,653 has 2,653 5 tenths and 3 ones First, we subtract the ones 3 minus 7 we cannot subtract 7 from 3. So we need to regroup 1 10 into 10 ones. Now we have 13 ones. We cross out the 3 and write 13 as new ones. Now we only have 4 tens. We cross out the 5 and write 4 at the top. Now, we subtract the 1's. 13 minus 7. Equals 6. Next, we subtract the 10's. 4 minus 6. We cannot subtract 6 from 4. So we need to regroup 100 into 10 tenths. Now we have 14 tenths. We cross out the 4 and write 4 tenths as new tenths. Now we only have 5 hundreds. We cross out the 6 and write 5 at the top. Now, we subtract the tens. 14 minus 6. Equals 8. Now, we subtract the hundreds. 5 minus 3. Equals 2. Now, we subtract the thousands. We have two thousands. But, there is no number in the subtrahend in the thousands column. That means, there is nothing to subtract. So, we bring down the two thousands. Our final answer is 2,286. Let's answer this. Find the difference. Number 1. 8,590 minus 356. First, we subtract the 1's. 0 minus 6. We cannot subtract 6 from 0. So we regroup 1 10 from 9. We have 10 1's. We cross out the zero and write ten as new ones. Now we only have eight tens. We cross out the nine and write eight at the top. Now we subtract the ones. Ten minus six equals four. Next, we subtract the tens. Eight minus five equals three. Then, we subtract the hundreds. 5 minus 3 equals 2. And bring down the thousand digit 8. Our final answer is 8,234. Number 2. 7,821 minus 274. First, we subtract the 1's. 1 minus 4. We cannot subtract 4 from 1, so we regroup 1 10 from 2. We have 11 ones. We cross out the 1 and write 11 as new ones. Now, we only have 1 10. We cross out the 2 
and write one at the top. Now, we subtract the ones. 11 minus 4 equals 7. Next, we subtract the tens. 1 minus 7. We cannot subtract 7 from 1. So we regroup 100 from 8. We have 11 tens. We cross out the 1 and write 11 as new tens. Now, we only have 7 hundreds. We cross out the 8 and write 7 at the top. Then, we subtract the tens. 11 minus 7 equals 4. Now, we subtract the hundreds. 7 minus 2 equals 5. And bring down the thousands digit 7. Our final answer is 7,547. Number 3. 6,472 minus 927. First, we subtract the ones. 2 minus 7. We cannot subtract 7 from 2, so we regroup 110 from 7. We have 12 ones. We cross out the 2 and write 12 as new ones. Now, we only have 6 tens. We cross out the 7 and write 6 at the top. Now, we subtract the ones. 12 minus 7 equals 5. Next, we subtract the tens. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Then, we subtract the hundreds. 4 minus 9. We cannot subtract 9 from 4. So, we regroup 1000 from 6. We have 14 hundreds. We cross out the 4 and write 14 as new hundreds. Now, we only have 5 thousands. We cross out the 6 and write 5 at the top. Now, we subtract the hundreds. 14 minus 9 equals 5. And bring down the thousand digit 5. So, 6,472 minus 927 equals 5,545. Number 4. 5,324 minus 759. First, we subtract the ones. 4 minus 9. We can subtract 9 from 4. So, we regroup 110 from 2. We have 14 ones. We cross out the 4 and write 14 as new ones. Now, we only have 110. We cross out the 2 and write 1 at the top. Now, we subtract the ones. 14 minus 9 equals 5. Next, we subtract the tens. 1 minus 5. We can subtract 5 from 1. So we regroup 100 from 3. Now, we have 11 tens. We cross out the 1 and write 11 as new tens. Now, we only have 2 hundreds. We cross out the 3 and write 2 at the top. Now, we subtract the tens. 11 minus 5 equals 6. Now, we subtract the hundreds. 2 minus 7. We cannot subtract 7 from 2. So, we regroup 1,000 from 5. Now, we have 1,200s. 
we cross out the 2 and write 12 as new hundreds. Now, we only have 4 thousands. We cross out the 5 and write 4 as new thousands. Now, we subtract the hundreds. 12 minus 7 equals 5. And bring down the thousands digit 4. Our final answer is 4,565. Quiz time. Let's answer this. You only have 10 seconds to answer. 1,680 minus 135. Start now. Times up, the answer is 1,545. 2,721 minus 256. Times up, the answer is 2,465. 3826 minus 353 Times up, the answer is 3473 4319 minus Times up, the answer is 3,965, 5,634 minus 278. Times up, the answer is 5,356. 6,320 minus 584 Times up, the answer is 5,736 7,273 minus 928 Times up, the answer is 6,345, 8,815 minus 726. Times up, the answer is 8,089. 9,643 minus 347 Times up The answer is 9,296 minus Times up, the answer is 3,446. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy learning about subtracting 3 digit from 4 digit numbers with regrouping.